All right, so this is a live walkthrough of me setting up the Wotan Craft Pilot 7 liter. So in here, I have my Ulanzi shoulder bag, which I'm gonna be moving a lot of the things over from. First things first, let's see if the iPad fits in here. So I still need to set up the strap. Pull out the dividers. I really don't want to overpack this thing. Oh, that's awesome. So the, the iPad Pro 11 inch does in fact fit in the back and doesn't fit in the Lanzi bag, which is awesome. Comes with this little tablet divider. I won't be able to carry my keyboard and my mouse in here but that was never really the intent. But I do suspect that this would nest inside my Optimal Threadworks backpack, which would be awesome, much like I do with, the, with my current shoulder bag setup. So I'm using my, my Sony a7S III right now, so I can't double check, but there's plenty of space in there and my tablet just fits perfectly in the back. And then I suspect that I can even, I love using these, uh, there's a Japanese bookstore here in Austin called Kino Kunia, that if you're in town, I highly recommend. Awesome selection of books, but also their stationery is really sharp, really professional. So if you need writing implements, paper, uh, things of that nature, Kino Kunia, I'll provide the, the address and link down in the description. But yep, that also fits back there with the tablet. Let's see here, pulling over from the front. My keys. Opening up this little top pocket here. Extra SD cards. I don't feel a key strap in there, so just letting the keys hang loose down in there. My extra microphone. This is the Deity Duo. That way, the intent is that you can capture both what you're focusing the camera on, and if you're behind the camera, you can also capture your own audio. the older peak, peak Design strap. All right, next up is gonna be my mini improved first aid kit, individual first aid kit. This is the ETQ tourniquet from Snake Staff Systems. It's so much smaller than anything else in the market and it has its place. It is an everyday carry tourniquet, right, where using a, a North American wider tourniquet would be really good for combat applications. This provides me a small footprint of having a tourniquet with me at all times. So I picked up two of these with the last drop that they had and uh, I'm really impressed by the build quality. And then in here, as I did my last walk through, I have compressed gauze and nitrile gloves. I need to find another little container but I'm gonna use one of these water bottle pockets and I'm gonna use it as my, my IFAC pocket, which I really like because having it tucked away in either of my bags was always a little bit concerning to me. If I need that kit, I need it immediately and I don't wanna to have to go digging around for it. I have both the um, the leaner format, that way I make sure that I have at least something with me at all times. And then when I have my backpack with me, I have a bigger one. And it's one of those things where I haven't needed it yet, but when I, if and when I do, I wanna make sure that I have it on me. Next up, I have my Anchor MagSafe battery and my BooBoo kit. And I may move that over here to the side pocket for the, for the time being, 
I'm gonna use one of these internal pockets. Oh, and that fits perfectly. There is tons of space in there. So on one side, I have my extra SD cards with plenty of space left where I can put my lens pen. And then over on this side, I have the Anchor MagSafe battery and my boo-boo kit. So then the final thing that I'm gonna put in for now, and my intent is that if I need more capacity, I can nest this in one of my larger bags, one of my 10, 12 liter bags. But one of the big draws to this bag is the pass-through pocket. And sure enough, my Mantis pod fits nicely in there. Just take the strap out. Strap clips in with these little compression clips. They seem snug, but going easy. And there we have it. I could fit my Insta360 in here too, or I could swap out. So I could actually swap out the PGY Tech Mantis Pod with my Insta360 tripod and camera. I wonder if this, that fits nicely. Thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to give this bag a try. Again, this is the Wotencraft Pilot 7 liter, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so I just took my camera gear down, just finished filming. This is the first time I've actually been able to put my A7S III inside. You can see the Night Sea cage. You can see my Deity Duo. I took the divider out, and with the divider out, I still have everything up front. I still have the Mantis pod. With the divider out, the iPad Pro can fit. And I think that if I didn't have the cage on, and I also have the PGY, you can't see it down there, but the PGY Tech quick disconnect pad is also on the bottom of the cage. And the iPad Pro still fits. Not fantastic, but it fits. I can still close the bag. So it fits everything. There you go.